you have been investigating different mathematical patterns in nature, and recently found that some plants like to use Fibonacci numbers in the number of spirals or petals they grow. Fibonacci numbers are found by starting at 0, adding 1 to get 1, then adding 1 plus 1 for 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, and so on. Pine cones, black-eyed Susan, sunflowers, and daisies were some of the plants we looked at, but there are many more out there. However, not all plants follow this pattern. So could there be a different type of pattern plants follow? There are many different numerical patterns in the mathematical world. Triangular numbers, arithmetic sequences, geometric sequences, square numbers, pell numbers, Q numbers, the list goes on. Now there's a series of numbers very similar to the Fibonacci sequence called Lucas numbers or the Lucas series. Lucas numbers are very similar to Fibonacci numbers in their formula, except that where you start with 0 and 1 in Fibonacci numbers, you start with 2 and 1, add them to get 3, add 1 to 3 to get 4. 3 plus 4 is 7, next is 11, 18, 29. Mathematically, the recursive formula looks like this. In comparison, this is the recursive formula for the Fibonacci series. As you can see, they look quite similar. Now, what do these numbers have to do with plants? Well, let's see what plants we can find with Lucas numbers. Here's a tomato that fell off the plant early. It has four of these little green bits, but if you look closely, it appears that they're still growing apart. Four-leaved clovers, like this one, are often considered special, since most clovers have three leaves. Four is a Lucas number, while three is a Fibonacci number. This daisy has 22 sprouts going this way, and that is double the Lucas number 11. But maybe I'm taking this a little too far. Nevertheless, Lucas numbers and Fibonacci numbers have some interesting relationships. Here's a list of Fibonacci numbers, and here's a list of Lucas numbers. I could take two Fibonacci numbers with one number in between and add them to find a Lucas number. For example, 3 plus 8 is 11, a Lucas number. 21 plus 55 is 76, 13 plus 34 is 47. Another interesting property of just Fibonacci numbers is that whenever you divide one Fibonacci number by the one preceding it, the resulting decimal will approach 5. 5, which can be written like this, is an irrational number that starts 1.618033988787. An irrational number is a number that cannot be written as an accurate fraction, meaning the decimal will continue forever without repeating. Some even consider 5 the most irrational number, but then you have to wonder how one number could be more irrational than another. And that just gets confusing. See, if we divide 3 by 2, we get 1.5. Not that close to 5, but keep going. 5 divided by 3 is 1.6 continuing. 8 divided by 5 is 1.6 like the beginning of 5. 13 divided by 8 is 1.625. Let's skip ahead a bit. 4,181 divided by 2,584 is 1.618034. As you can see, we're getting closer to 5. This interesting property relates to the reason that plants have a tendency to grow in Fibonacci spirals. Let's say a plant wanted to place each new leaf 180 degrees away from the last leaf. After growing two leaves, the third leaf would be directly under the leaf above. Some plants do this, and it is called an alternate or opposite leaf arrangement. Now, say a plant did not want its leaves to overlap. What could the plant do? This is where phi comes in. If you divide 360 degrees by phi, you get approximately 222.5 degrees. 360 minus 222.5 is 137.5. Now grab some paper, a pencil, and a protractor or geometric triangle. Mark a center on your paper and measure 137.5 degrees from a point. It is okay if you're a little off, but try to be as accurate as possible. Draw a little leaf here. Keep going around, always measuring 137.5 degrees from your last mark. Depending on how large your leaves are, they might start to overlap a little sooner or later than the ones I am drawing here. But that is okay, since a plant cannot make its leaves completely avoid overlapping. You will probably find that the overlaps start on a Fibonacci number. Keep drawing, and something like a pine cone or maybe a hen and chick will start to form. After you have gone around a few times, you will start to see the spiral pattern. Try this with different numbers and see how far you can get before the leaves overlap too much. Now why would a plant even want to grow using Fibonacci numbers? Sure, it looks cool and makes neat spirals, but how does it help the plant? There are a range of theories for this. By growing this way, a sunflower or daisy can pack the most seeds onto its surface. When leaves grow this way, they receive optimum sunlight. A new leaf on plants wants to grow where there are the least other plant parts, and this happens to be about 137.5 degrees away from the last plant bit. It might all seem a bit confusing, but draw some different plant spirals and look at lots of different plants. Fibonacci numbers, Lucas numbers, or phi may not be in every plant, but you might discover something else new and exciting, and that is what science is all about. Bingo up.